Hello everybody and welcome. I am Photon and this is Doom Eternal. So as you can see I already have a game slot here. Now as you might notice I'm going to be starting a new slot here and I'm just going to be replaying the first couple levels because due to some technical issues that came up during our streams we lost several of our recordings or the just the general quality wasn't what we want to see. So I'm going to be redoing some of this. There may be some continuity issues going from, like, uh, starting at level 3. Level 3 to level 4, you might notice a slight continuity issue. But I'm going to do my best to put all of this together in a way that makes sense for you guys. Making the same choices as far as weapon upgrades and things like that. The upside of replaying this is it should make my progress through the levels rather smooth and it will allow me to show you guys a lot of the secrets and things that I already kind of spent my time searching for so we'll be able to cut that out and make this a nice smooth ride for you guys and I hope you enjoy the game this is gonna be level one of Doom Eternal ultra violence now I don't run out of extra lives and then die it's game over Mm. Ooh. With lightning quick reflexes. Alright, we're going to be going in with Ultra Violence. Because I've played myself a fair bit of Doom, I am by no means like a great FPS player, but I've played myself a fair bit of Doom. And come on, it's Doom. You gotta play it on Ultra Violence. Because it is Ultra Violent. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Alright, now that is one hell of an entrance. So a couple things that they've kind of changed a little bit and added to the lore. Uh, Doom Guy's got like a floating fortress in space now. That's cool. Hey, level up to 10. 
So, yeah, they have expanded the lore of this game so dramatically. And to be honest, there's a lot of questions that I still have. And I cannot wait to get through this and actually see where they're going with it. The first thing that's kind of strange uh -huh, that they mentioned already is in that opening tutorial where they're saying that we will send only you. They're saying that they will send you against all the demons of hell and all the wickedness of mankind. Implying that Doom Guy's kind of purpose is not just killing demons. You're... I'm thinking... If there's a secret back here. No? No? That's beautiful. And we're gonna go around... But I'm thinking that Doom Guy is kind of like the Time Cops. Yeah, it's a new zombie. Because they're pretty heavily implying that your job is to keep shit under control. Double jump. Not just all the demons of hell, but also all the wickedness of mankind. Now, I do not know how true that is. But, to me, it seems like that's what they were implying. And as the game progresses, I def I'm really trying to... Trying to nail down what they're saying with all this. Oh, Ah, oh, that one just straight up died. Alright, here's our first little combat arena. Get the imps! Ah, oh, yes! Throw that. So id Software has done nothing short of an amazing job here. The combat is fast. It's brutal. Like, th this is Doom. And all these people are just made out of bullets. And that's a really nice touch that I feel they added to the game as a whole. If, you, if you're familiar with the previous Doom games, one of the things that I noticed right away is the reduction in your ammo pool. Because you can still upgrade your total ammo, just like you could before, but it, you, you still carry less. Fresh out of the gate, Doom 2006, 16? I don't know, whenever the last one was. 2016, I think. Your shotgun held 20 shells. Now it only holds 16. You know, it, it's like, okay, four shotgun shells. Whatever. But going from 20 to 16, that's like a 20% drop. And it, that's fairly consistent with the weapons I found. But they give you the chainsaw full of the chainsaw fuel that regenerates. So you can always just cut people up and get ammo. And I don't know what this is about. <laughs> well, your hat's crooked. <laughs> I don't know what he meant by my soul remains guarded. But clearly he thought I couldn't rip his head off. Because those things, like, carry these fortresses. And apparently when you kill the guy, it just, like, puts it down. I guess. Keiko Demon! Can I hit it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it doesn't care, though. Well, fine. But look at this. This is gorgeous. I mean, it's it's terrifying, and it's bad, but gorgeous. Codex pages. Yeah, they've, they've added so much to the lore. And I'm thinking, actually, of kind of making another video at the end of the game to kind of go over all the lore, 
Hopefully I don't miss anything big. Fully automatic shotgun. Come on, that and that that animation is just so satisfying. But I will always be a fan of the grenade too. Oh, that hurt me a little bit. Yep, and there's a thing. There's a secret. So when you're going this way, don't get distracted by all the little guys down there. You want to go up here and see that gentleman. Floating question mark. The Doom Slayer. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's actually a collectible that I had missed on my other playthroughs. And I noticed the question mark on the map, but I had already jumped down there and I couldn't go get it. One thing that I've learned about this game is that you want to be in the habit of checking your map often. Yeah. Visually speaking, one of my favorite things that they've done with this game is the cosmetic damage on the opponents as they take damage. Oh, these assholes. The Arachnotron. Kind of like the spider guys with the chain guns in their chests from like OG Doom. Can't remember what they were called. Yeah, look at the cosmetic damage on these guys as you shoot them. Right. You don't need that gun turret. You get it? I got it. Okay. Low health. But you're made of bullets. The addition of adding weak points to the enemies is also a nice touch, I feel. And being able to glory kill them to get health. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm spending too much time like thinking about talking and not thinking about the shit that's in front of me. But being, the, the momentum of combat that they did in this game is just brilliant. Glory kills give you health, the chainsaws give you ammo, you eventually get a tool called a flame belch that can... Oh, I has no bullets. Give me this. Get... Leave me alone! Leave me alone! No. Eh. Eh. Give me these. Give me. But yeah, the, mo the momentum through combat of being able to turn the things you're facing into health or ammo or armor. It makes things kind of hectic, too, because it gives you a lot of cooldowns that you're trying to monitor. What's my chainsaw fuel at? How many grenades do I have? What's my health? What's my armor? Do I need ammo right now? Because the chainsaw fuel has, like, three little pips. Three little stages. And if you use all of it, it will regenerate back to one. But you can keep collecting it and get up to three. And one is enough to get through like the little trash demons and imps and zombies and that kind of stuff. But three chainsaw fuel, you can actually chainsaw the arachnotrons or hell knights or some of the bigger guys. Ah, yes, the heavy cannon. Oh, these guns are so pretty. But there's this interesting kind of balancing act that you're always trying to do. Will I find ammo in the environment? Or do I need to use this chainsaw fuel? Or should I let it build up and use it to just take out one of the bigger guys so they're not a threat anymore? Pop! They make little popping noises and you shoot their heads off. Aww. Now this area is the next secret that I'm going to be able to show you guys. Let's just kind of clean things up a little. Now we want... Uh, I heard the pop. We want to go up into the top level of shoes. Shoes. Then there's a wall we can break up here on the left. 
which gets us down for our little imp toy. Aw. And then I'm gonna head this way. Low ammo. There we are. These guys are made of ammo. Hi there. Woo. Yes. All right. Chainsaw Master. There's another Arachnatron out here. One well-placed grenade can take out the turret. And then you can switch to full auto. And it's just as devastating as it sounds, having a fully automatic chainsaw. Get some health. Get some health. Get some more health. Get some ammo. Yes! Now that is how you rip and tear. Always try to use the enemies to block the enemies. That's another thing that I've learned. These guys are mostly just in the way. They don't have any ranged attacks, they move slow, and because ammo is a little bit more restricted in this game... Oh yes! The wall climbs. But typically I'll just leave these guys alone. You can climb on walls now? Like, they, they've expanded the game so much. Yellow card. Low ammo. Thank you very much. But you know, this is Doom staying true to its roots and just giving you the endless fight that is Doom Guy. That was some sort of cluster. That was nice. Little cannon things in the wall. There's more environmental hazards than you would typically see in a Doom game. At least according to my, like, classic Doom standards. Hello. Oh, ammo. Because Doom typically didn't really rely on environmental hazards other than the floor. The floor is lava. The floor is radioactive goo. Whatever. But now there's like little cannons that are stuck in the wall and all sorts of crap. Which is good. It expands kind of the threat. It expands what's going on. Yes, give me you. The precision bolt. Heavy cannon is also a sniper. Vega, what are you doing down here? Not that I'm going to complain, but why? Ah, this thing. Frag grenades. And a little tube thing that mounts to your shoulder. The weak point of the Keiko Demon. Adding weak points to the various demons, I'm also pleased with that. Every demon has its own flavor, that's and it's dealt with in a certain way. Open your mouth. Yes! Just fucking can't see you through all the bits. Hi there. Whoever had the idea to give Doom Guy something sharp, like, good for you. That's the last thing that Doom Guy needed was something sharp and pointy. But I approve. And they took away the pistol from the original Doom, which was always kind of your backup default weapon. Because the pistol had infinite ammo. Not having that any longer has put me in some situations where I just don't 
have any ammo, but there's still stuff to kill. Now you have frag grenades and things that are just on cooldown timers, so they're kind of always an option. But trying to fight some of these really fast and aggressive enemies with all your weapons being based on this cooldown timer kinda sucks. Hey, 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 I was not looking for you. Ah, oh, I popped his head off when I didn't want to. And that grenade is, look at, look at the cosmetic damage to him before, like, anything else even happens. That's just beautiful. Another one! Got a little bit of health out of that guy, too. That's nice. Where'd you go? But even, like, en What? What? Why? What? I'm aware of the Arachnotron's turret. I shot his turret. Okay. Was there someone else back here? It w if it was you... Oh, my lord. Okay. Yep, see? No ammo. I really like the grenades. Elf. And I do need some ammo. Do I have shotgun shells? I do. I have 10 of them. Out of 16, 10's pretty good. Let's go get some more. Yeah. See? There's three lives. Extra lives that I just have been missing. The extra life system was a good one, too. Can I get back for any of those? Not promptly. Alright, that's fine. But yeah, you can find extra lives throughout the game. The UAC... Clearly behind this. I don't even know what I was saying. I was saying something. Yep. The extra mobility, the different ways you can interact with the environment. I mean, just well done. The extra lives are really nice, because anytime you die, it just consumes the extra life and you stand right back up. Now they're limited, of course, and a lot of times they're hidden, they're not just gonna hand them to you. Darn it, they keep breaking. Perform 33 glory kills in a single slave. Ah, single save slot. Alright. But it's it's another really nice way that they put in to keep the momentum of the game going. I really hate those tentacle things. And up here, is another secret, which is another fun concept. Infinite lives, cheat codes, replay missions with special modifiers, and does not disable progression. That's the important part. Because this game can get really challenging. And if all you want to do is go through a mission and get into a certain room or complete a certain goal or something like that, it's only you can only use the cheat codes when you go back to it. So it's like you've already completed the mission. You've already passed the test, so to speak. So why punish me when all I want to do is go back and get this one thing? So that's where the cheat codes come in. The only thing you can't do with the cheat codes is a special event called a Slayer Gate. And we'll get to those in the second level. 
I think. Get out of here. Get out of here. And these little combat arenas are pretty common. And god, they're a lot of fun. Let's jump up. Where are you at, Keiko? Keiko! Forget about the future. Just suffer. Ripping out all your eyes. If I learned anything from God of War, it's that you should always collect things' eyes. Hi there. I will say the Keiko Demons could use some more variety in their um, glory kill animations. Because there's a good variety of glory kill animations out here, but certain enemies, it just always seems to be the same one. Because I know the animation that it uses is determined by like what angle you approach them at and how far away you are, and, and it's pretty easy to kind of change it up yourself, like just jumping through the air a little bit before you do it. There's a different one. But like the Keiko Demons, because they're above you a lot of the time, when they're far away, you always seem to get the same one. And it's, you know, it's fun. It's rewarding. I mean, this, this game is Catharsis Incarnate. And they're short enough that you don't really feel it. To make a prophecy happen. <laughs> ah, these are just good quotes. I missed him. Oh, hey, you're all blinky. Sweep the leg. Low ammo. Everyone's made of bullets. Yes. This is how we rip and tear. Gotcha. Gonna go up over here. There's another one up. Can hop down and jump. But yeah, it's software. Kudos to you guys. And I'm not, like, a game developer. I don't know, like, what part of this Bethesda did and what part of this ID did. And I don't know. That's not my area of expertise. But you guys did such a good job. Come here, you. This side of you is not even hurt. Ah, it's, it goes in your mouth then. That's all right. Ah! Lost, you take some damage when you fall, but it doesn't send you back to the restart screen like it did in the last two. Which I appreciate. Because I fall off stuff a lot. Con maker is nearby. I she is don't know the what the con maker is. I will mark her location on your HUD. That's so pretty. How do I get me one of those? I would call that a citadel. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. Thank you, Vega. Codex page in here. Yep, fast travel. Use it to find additional items, complete optional encounters. Like those extra lives that I missed. I could probably go back and get those. But I have two extra lives right now. And I'm kind of okay with that. You go through them, that's for sure.
Let's go upstairs and say hi. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. In case y'all wondered where he was. This stops nothing. The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again, as it is written from the souls of the non-believers. You will not save them from their judgment. <laughs> Bitches. You go too far this time. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent, to give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Activating the portal now. For it was you. Who was meant to enforce it? What? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to unpack in this game, and I cannot wait to get to it. Bam! The great thing about this is after every level, it will tell you all of this stuff. So even if I missed it, like if I like if I missed the cheat code, it would still say cheat code zero of one. So that's cool. At least I think that's how that goes. But yeah, that's it for Doom Eternal Level 1. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this game. I've certainly been enjoying the ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that we have a merch store. Please like, subscribe, check out the merch that we have available. You can look into the Twitter accounts for myself and for Synchro Trace, my wonderful editor and partner doing, during all this. And thank you guys. I will see you next time.